Welcome to the SAS video tutorial of working with dates in SAS part one. For this one, we're not going to need any data, and actually, we're not even going to create any data sets. So what we're going to start doing is working with dates, and dates are their own sort of animal that you have to realize that it's not as easy to work with as you would think, because they're not nice numbers in the sense of our normal numbers. So uh, what we have here is, what I've got up here right now, is this is what you might input but this is the SAS format that corresponds to it. And we're gonna play with these here in just a second. Uh, so this one is just different formats of the same thing, the same date. And that's why dates are different than regular numbers. Regular numbers, there's pretty much only one or two ways to express it. I mean, you could express it in normal notation or scientific notation or binary or something. But for the most part, it's gonna be standard. However, when we write dates, depending on where we are in the world, we might write them differently. And here are different date formats that you may or may not see. All right, so let's play with this a little bit and see what we mean. So there are some functions that we're going to use, but we're going to create a data statement, but we're going to put in here null as our data set. So it's not actually going to create a data set at all. So what I want to do is I actually want to put in uh, a new variable. I'm going to call it today. And one, and it's going to be equal to 21288. So for some of you, you might go, well, this is February 12th, 1988, right? That could be a reasonable number for this. So the date is 21288. So the next thing we might want to do is look and see how another way to put this in. So let's just look at, well, let's just look at what it might do. So let's call this date one. And here we're going to put in here, uh, let's see here, put, and I'm going to put this number, today one, and I'm going to put a format on it, on the date. So I'm saying, well, this kind of looks like one of these. Uh, what if I put in here, word date 20 dot. Let's see if it writes out February 12th, 1988. Let's see what happens. And I'm just going to run this. Well, actually, I need to do one other statement. I need to actually put a put statement down here because put actually outputs it into the log window. Uh, and put shorting uh, as a function just transforms one thing to another, changes the format. Uh, so in this case, we're going to just put out today one and then we're going to put out date one. And let's see what pops out of here. So I'm going to run this. And when I come over to the log, notice I'm going to the log and not to the uh, output window. So if I look here, I see 21288, which is the number that I put in, but notice that it corresponds to April 14, 2018. So something weird is going on. So what we need to do is kind of figure out what's going on with SAS dates so that we can deal with them effectively. All right, so maybe what we should do is, well, this clearly is not February 12th, uh, 1988. So, or if you were in a different country, it might be the 21st of February, 1988. But it's actually, uh, what we saw here, it's April 14, 2018. So what happens if we put in zero? What is the year zero? So we're going to run this and see what year zero is, or date zero. I run this, I'm going to come over here and look at the log. And this is the thing about SAS and their dates. Everything is referred back to January 1st, 1960. So keep that in mind. Whenever we're doing anything, when it creates the date as a number, it's the number of days since January 1, 1960. So the year zero, day zero is not what we're used to on our regular calendars that we're used to looking at. It's specifically January 1, 1960. And the interesting thing is, is we can actually go back in time. Well, what I would say, negative. So what is negative? Uh, what did we say this was? 21288. So this is, we're going backwards in time from January 1960. So I run this, I look at the log, and this is September 19th, 1901. Okay, so if we were to look at some symmetry from January 1st, 1960 to where we are Today, which is the 14th of April, 2018, if we were to go back the same amount of time, we would be back to 1901. Okay, so this gives you a sense that things in SAS, when you see these numbers, 
when you have a date, it might be a little weird. Now, let's try one other thing here real quick. So I'm going to put in here, uh, let's put it below it, I guess. Date 2. Right? So I'm going to put in here date 2, and I'm going to give it a specific date, and I'm going to put it in a specific order. So I'm going to put it in here, this is the fort. well, let's say, uh, let's pick a different date uh, other than the date we've been working with today. Let's put in, um, let's say, uh, 12 uh, December of 2000. What date would this produce? And we can actually put this in here. So we can put in here date two now. And it and I need to put one other thing on here. Notice this has got it as a string, but if I put a D on the end, notice it changed color uh, because now it knows it's a date. So let's see what this does. Uh, because here we're just telling it, this is a string and, and print this out. So when I go and look at the log, you'll see that if I did what I did before, I get the other numbers. But here, this 12th of December 2000 is 14,956. Okay, so SAS is storing it as 14,956. It's not storing it as this string that you might look at. You say, oh, well, that's a string with a D on the end. That D on the end makes it a date. And this is important for when you're trying to do various things in SAS, especially if you're trying to put in new dates. You're going to need to put in, okay, here's the date that we currently have, and this is the way I'm going to write it. But it has to have that D at the end so it knows what it is. Uh, these Also, these uh, formats are really useful. For example, if you're manually entering in data, you would want to put this format at the end. So you'd put in the variable name and then the format behind it so that SAS knows what it's looking at when it's looking at the information. It knows it's going to be a date and it's going to be in this format. All right, so this video has run along uh, far enough. What we're going to do is we're going to move on to the next video and we'll start playing with a little bit more with dates and trying to get information out of them. See you in the next video.